is coming soon it may be morn it may be night or noon but Jesus is coming soon welcome to this Tuesday night edition of the power of Pentecost emanating from the main sanctuary of Crowvery Ministries International in the city of God of Youngstown Ohio we're just so grateful to bring the Word of God and the worship of the Spirit to wherever ever you are Whatever your challenge, whatever your circumstance may be, we want you to know that Jesus is the answer for the world on today. It is true that we are living in what Paul describes as perilous times. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. But we are not in a state of panic we are not in a state of despair because we know and believe that God is in total control. 
Friends, I want you to know that the Word of God contains the answers to all of life's challenges and perplexities. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. There is a word from the Lord for you on tonight, and it is my profound privilege and honor to present to you tonight's spokesperson for the King of Glory, an anointed, powerful woman of God who is immersed in the spirit of prayer and worship. I don't know whether you realize it or not, but these are praying times. And tonight coming to deliver the word of God is our own evangelist, Linda Daniels. And she's going to be sharing with us tonight, praying through perilous times. I want you to call, tweet, text someone and let them know there is a word from the Lord. Evangelist Linda Daniels. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord again, everybody. What a blessed privilege we have to be in the house of the Lord. We celebrate Jesus. He's been good all day long, and we celebrate Jesus. I give honor to my pastor, Bishop C. Sean Tyson, and his lovely wife, First Lady Krista Tyson. I'm honored of the Lord to be a part of Calvary in this ministry. As our pastor has already stated prior, our theme for tonight is praying through perilous times. Praying through perilous times. Our scripture is taken from 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 and it reads as follows this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come this know that means that we have to understand we have to perceive we have to have knowledge of that we are living in perilous times and not only that, perilous times are sometimes hard to bear. They're troublesome. They're dangerous. They can be harsh and fierce in savage times. But this know that we have the benefit of prayer. Uh, I'm going to look at Jesus, our main character. We want to share a little bit from the scriptures this evening, and we're going to share about Jesus. The mo one of the most challenging times that I can see in the Bible, or I can read in the Bible, was Jesus, an innocent man, being put to death. Someone that came to save us, deliver us, set us free. A challenging time, a, a man that knew no sin, who taught others to believe in his father. And we're going to look at some scriptures tonight regarding that. In St. John chapter 16, Jesus addresses his disciples. Now, this is a very challenging time for them because they had forsaken all to follow this man. They didn't uh, question him. They followed him and they followed his teaching. So can you imagine the peril that they felt in their spirits, this man is telling us that he's going to leave us. Jesus himself knowing that he had to die. What a challenge. But he knew that he was called to the earth for this purpose. But in his human state, what a challenge. St. John chapter 16 Verses 32 and 33. If you could turn there with me, please. And I'll read this scripture in your healing, hearing. Behold, the hour cometh. This is Jesus talking to his disciples. Yea, is now come that ye shall be scattered. Every man to his own and shall leave me alone. And yet... I'm not alone <laughs> because the father is with me. 
That's the comfort that we have in perilous times, that the Father is with us. Mm. And it goes on to say in verse 33, these things have I spoken unto you. Mm. That in me ye might have peace. The scriptures are written that we can have peace. When we were in the midst of the challenge of being introduced to the coronavirus, we had to reach, I had to reach back in my spirit and say, Lord, you've already sent a word. You've already spoken to us. Every time I got down to pray, the Lord said, I've already given you an answered word through the word of the Lord. It's been spoken. That ye might have peace. Peace without and peace within. In the world, ye shall have tribulation. So I already know I'm living in a world where there is tribulations. That, that we know. It exists daily. There's tribulations that we live. But be of good cheer. <laughs> That's Jesus talking to his disciples. disciples. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Now the one thing or the one consolation that God has given to me, and I'm sure to many of you, is found in St. John's chapter 17 and verse 9. He said, Jesus said, I pray for them. I pray for them. He's already prayed for you and I. So when perilous times come, we have to remind ourselves that Jesus has already prayed for us. In verse 14 of St. John chapter 17, it says, I have given them thy word. That's the second thing. We have the word of God hidden inside of our hearts. He's given us a living word for every situation. And the world has hated them because they are not of the world. We're not of this world. We have a home that's beyond this place. Our hope is not in this place. We are not of this world. Even as I am not of the world. And verse 15 says, I'm sorry, I've got to go back to St. John. I don't want to go to verse 15 without reading verse 11. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. That's you and me. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. So he asked the father, keep them, just keep them, just as you and I are one, make them one. Verse 15, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. Jesus was the sacrifice. Take, he knew he had to go, but you don't have to take them out of the world, but thou keep them from evil. So when tribulation comes, consciousness of mind says he's prayed for us and he's able to keep that that we have committed into his hand. So when we commit our lives unto the Lord, he's able to keep us in evil times. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. And verse 17 says, sanctify them. Oh God, thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. I'm counted among the sanctified. I am saved. I am sanctified. I'm counted among the prayer that Jesus prayed. He said, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So in perilous times, we have to take this word of the Lord and we have to continually apply it to ourselves. We are sanctified through the word of the Lord. It's the life of us. It's the word of God that sustain us in these times of tribulation. 
Now, neither I neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That's us. We believe. We believe on Jesus. There are those that uh, our pastor has ministered to that have believed on Jesus through the preached word. There are those that we have encountered on our jobs who believe in Jesus through your word and through your life. And the glory which thou gaveth me, I have given them that they may be one even as we are one. Ah, he's placed some glory in the earth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now, in the last 30 years, a whole entire generation, the last 30 years, this is the transitions that we have gone through in the last 30 years. There has been a 560% increase in violent crime. A 400% increase in the number, number of Ill illegitimate births. The number of divorces have quadrupled. The number of single parent homes has tripled in the last 30 years. This is an entire generation. And babies are being slaughtered by abortionists at the rate of 1.5 million per year. As a result of abortions, we have killed off an entire generation of Americans, according to FBI statistics. There was one murder every 22 minutes, one rape every five minutes, one robbery every 49 seconds. Since the year 2000, and this touches me because of my classroom, there has been 917 plus innocent Americans been slain in mass shootings. And there's over 25,000 violent ga gangs in America. Now these are staggering statistics. These are perilous days. These are times of tribulation and trials. And if we, as saints of God, would realize who we are, that we're not shaken as those who have no hope and no God. Perilous times call for purpose-filled prayers and strategy. Now, I'm going to put something in your hearing because I want you to execute strategy in these perilous times. We have to remember that God has already given us direction. Remember the instructions that God sent to you on Sunday mornings and Tuesday Bible classes or whenever your Bible class is. Remember the word of the Lord. That's in the forefront of your mind. Turn the TV off. Whose report will you believe? Will you believe the report of the Lord or will you believe CNN as they change or every channel that you turn, it changes the report. Whose report will you believe? Will we choose to believe the report of the Lord? The report of the Lord says, we have victory. We win. Hallelujah. Another strategy is we've got to arise. You are positioned in the body of Christ on purpose. What is your assignment in perilous times? What has God called you to do? Rise up and take your place, your rightful place in the kingdom. Stand on your feet and declare that he's God. Stand up and proclaim the name that's above every name. Stand up and walk among them and let them know that God is real. Draw near to God and pray. One other strategy that I'd like to put out there is this is not, when it's, when it's perilous times, it's not a time to be a lone ranger. If one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. That's Ecclesiastes 4.12. Join with believers. 
Put your hands together, your prayers together, your thoughts together. Stay together. Don't go apart. It's not time to be a lone ranger in perilous times. We need to pray like we've never prayed before. We need to believe in faith, faith. We need to believe as never before in stormy times. And as Elder Brogdon has so profoundly said over and over again, fear not. Because when fear overtakes you, you become of another mindset. But believe God in spite of. Hold fast to your faith in God. Be like the tree planted by the rivers of water. The winds can blow, the rains can come, the storm can come. But be like the tree planted by the rivers of water. Don't you let it overcome you in fear. Lastly, when the storms of life are raging and the billows roll, I'm so glad. <laughs> he shall hide me safe in his arms. Know that Jesus is on board with you. He's on board the ship in the time of storms. And whenever the Lord says, come on, say it with me, peace. There shall be peace. Whenever the Lord says, Peace, there shall be peace. But in the meantime, believe, fear not, talk to God in prayer, and more than anything, arise and be the shining light in this world. God bless you. God bless you.
tongues as the Spirit gives me utterance. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, just lift your hands right where you are. God wants to come into you. He wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost. He wants to inhabit your tabernacle and your being. The name is Jesus. Just open your mouth right where you are. Ask the Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Baptize me with your power. Jesus, Jesus. That's right. You're doing it right. Just praise him. Just say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just say, Lord, I love you, Lord, I adore you, Lord, I worship you. You're doing it right. You're doing it right. Just tell them all, oh, shit, that I'm a Yankee, I'm a Jesus, Jesus. every day many of you are feeling something that you've never felt before that's the Holy Ghost just yield to the Spirit you don't have to be in the church to receive the Holy Ghost just right while you're sitting right there on the edge of your bed just let that come up out of your spirit out of your belly how much you love the Lord The blessings of the Lord be upon you. We love you so much and thank you for spending this time with us on this Tuesday evening. I want to invite you to continue to support this ministry if we're being a blessing to you and certainly to all of the Calvary family. We are continuing in our stewardship in worshiping God in tithes and in offerings. And even though we're not gathering as a the whole family of God in the house of God we're still sharing we're still giving and as we do on every Tuesday night I'm going to ask you and those of you who are supporters of this ministry from around the country won't you sow a seed of ten dollars tonight into this great ministry of God I feel the anointing right now Lord, I thank you for your presence. I want you to know God is with you. Those of you that are dealing with layoffs from your job, temporary inconveniences as it relates to your finances, we just believe here that God's going to supply everything. According to his riches in glory, he is going to make a way for you. We have several ways for you to give tonight. You may give via cash app at Mount Calvary Youngstown, MTC Youngstown, dollar sign MTC Youngstown. For all of my young people with cash app, dollar sign MTC Youngstown. You may also give at Givelify at Mount Calvary Pentecostal Church via Givelify 
or you may give via PayPal. PayPal, and you can access that opportunity at calvaryforyou.org. That's the name Calvary, the let the number four dot org. Calvary, the number four, the letter U. Calvary for you dot org. Let me get that together. Calvary, the number four, the letter U dot org. Those are the means to which we are able to give. And we also asking and inviting those who would just like to mail your tithes and offering to the church. You may do so at 1812 Oak Hill Avenue, Youngstown, Ohio, 44507. And please make all checks payable to Mount Calvary Pentecostal Church. Well, the blessings of the Lord be upon you all and be sure to join us again right here at our Facebook Live page. I'll be here on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Well, some are saying, well, I thought you all only aired on Tuesday night. That was before the pandemic. But we need more word and more worship now than ever before. So I want you to share with all of your friends and all of your families that Calvary will be here every Thursday night also at 7 p.m. Eastern. And I have a word from the Lord for you. Well, we love you so much. Take the word of the Lord with you. And as the old saints say, take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. I think I'm going to sing that leaving the air tonight just a little old church and I want to go out with a praise make sure you meet me here Thursday night at 7 p.m. where the word of the Lord will be here for you one more time fear not God is with you everywhere you go I'll see you on Thursday night at 7 take the Lord along with you everywhere you go take the Lord along yeah. Everywhere you go, take the Lord with you. Everywhere you go, take the Lord along with you. Everywhere you go, you're gonna need Jesus. Everywhere you go, you're gonna need Jesus. Everywhere you go, where you need him in the morning. Everywhere you go, you need him in the noon day. Everywhere you Well, friends, I pray that you are blessed by the word and the worship on tonight. And before we leave the air, I would like to invite you and ask you if you would participate with us in kingdom building by sharing a love offering of any amount. Of course, to the Calvary family, we are continuing to honor God with our tithe and with our offering. But during the midweek service, I normally ask for a $10 gift and we're asking for that as usual on tonight. All of our friends and our viewers that are being blessed by this webcast, it would be such a blessing. And we would be so grateful unto you for sharing a love offering of any amount. There are several ways that you can participate in giving. You may give at Cash App, dollar sign MTC Youngstown. You may give via Givelify at Mount Calvary Pentecostal Church, or you may give on PayPal at the church's website, calvaryforyou.org. That's the word Calvary, the number four, the letter U.org. Click donate and it will take you to a secure site. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. 
stay under the blood, keep a spiritual mindset and a heart inclined toward God until we meet you again on the next Midweek Matter. Have a blessed evening.